Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and today I want to give you guys a look at one of the smallest fish I keep. I just need to find them. Okay, so I found one. These guys are extremely tiny, so I gotta see how close we can actually get it on camera. But if you look inside the Amazon store, right above my finger, that right there is the catfish I want to show you guys. So I'm going to go actually and mess with them and see if I could get them to come out. And he's out and he's in the substrate over there. I'm not sure if you saw him swim, but he is now over there in a rock work. I have the lens on macro so it's like hard trying to focus. I'm gonna try to scare him this way a little bit. Okay, so he's right there in the center of the screen. Okay everyone, so this right here is a stone catfish. These catfish come from Asia. And currently this is the smallest species of fish that I keep at the moment. And there are definitely some cool oddball fish to have in your tank. So I want to go and actually pick this guy up. So you guys get an idea how small he actually is. Now I've had him for a couple of months now. And this is pretty much full size. Okay. He's trying to escape. Let me show him out a little bit. Okay, I want to give you guys the best view of him. Oh, he actually escaped. This right here is a stone catfish. See? A catfish that originates from Asia. And this is the biggest they get. This guy is maybe about an inch long, and he's definitely the smallest fish that I keep. Okay everyone, so this right here is one of my four stone catfish. I love these catfish mostly because of how rugged they look. A lot of small catfish, they are just soft looking. This guy has the body as if he belonged to a huge monster catfish. So I love how spiky he is, and he definitely looks awesome. Another thing that I love about this fish is just his camouflage. Now, a lot of people question whether or not camouflage is a good thing in aquariums because obviously camouflage makes it harder for us to see the fish, but I love the fact that a fish is just able to show natural behavior, and I love the fact that I'm able to come to this aquarium and just have to really look into the fine detail to notice this miniature life. So this right here is zoomed in um, really closely, but if we zoom all the way out, this is how it looks. So really, when you first come to the tank, it's really hard to notice anything. But then when you take a, a really fine look, you can see this guy just sitting there. And this is another cool thing, because these guys have such good camouflage, um, they're very confident, so they don't really go hiding a lot. You see, before when I went and got this fish, he was just sitting over there in these um, Amazon sword leaves. And even when I had him in my hand and over here, this is his defense. He just sits there because he knows that his camouflage is number one. So definitely um, for fish keepers who just like nature in their aquarium, who like creating just the best natural setup, this is definitely a great fish to consider. They really bring just a very natural effect to the aquarium to the point where we at least expect that you could find life. And I just love that effect in a tank. Now these are no doubt one of the smallest species of catfish available in an aquarium hobby. Once again, this guy is only about one inch and he is full grown. So that makes them great for small aquariums. I could imagine putting these guys in a five gallon aquarium, 10 gallon, just all those small aquariums. If you're looking for a bottom feeding fish, this is definitely a great option. Now these guys, they originate from Asia, specifically coming from India, and they come from slow moving water. So you definitely don't want water with a strong current. As you see, these guys like to stay still and just camouflage with their background. So if you have a lot of current, it's going to be pushing them around, so they prefer more still water. 
Along with that, they do appreciate a dark substrate. However, you know that with a darker substrate, the harder it will be for you, the viewer, to see it. But I actually like that challenge. You can see I have this dark eco complete, and I love coming and just searching this, um, these bunch of plants and just searching all along the substrate to see what I find. Um, it just makes, in my opinion, the tank a little bit more natural. But of course, if you want these guys to be a little bit more obvious, you have to go in and add maybe a sand, a uh, lighter color sand or something like that, and it definitely will be a little bit more easier to find. Now, while these guys do have a cool shape and a very unique look to them, one of the downsides is that they are very nocturnal, which means when the lights are on in an aquarium, they definitely won't be that active. So compared to other small catfish like Corridors, which you can see I have one back there, looking for food, these guys in comparison to corridors are um, definitely not as enjoyable when it comes to just their overall activity level and that's once again because they are nocturnal I do come down here with a flashlight sometimes and I am able to catch them moving around and just searching for food but when the lights are on they are going to be pretty much at standstill but once again as I keep saying I love these guys because even though um, they are not too active they still just sit right there in the open because they are so confident in their camouflage so even though they're not active you still could come and just spot them just sitting there in the open so that's one of the things to consider with these catfish now when it comes to feeding these fish like all catfish is really no challenge um, I like to feed these guys blood worms because they love them and the cool thing is that you don't really have to use a lot of blood worms because they are so small this little guy right here can maybe eat four blood worms and you know these blood worms are extremely tiny he's four of them and he's done so that's one of the good things about these tiny fish it really doesn't take much to feed them and um, they eat anything so I feed them blood worms they eat flakes every now and then and I also use um, fluval bug bites for miniature fish and I'm pretty sure they grab a couple of those if they can find them left over. So just like any other catfish, when it comes to feeding, is really no challenge. Overall, the stone catfish is just a nice fish to have if you just want to add a little bit more oddness to your aquarium, if you want to make it a little bit more natural, if you want to just provide a little bit more light to the tank, um, this is definitely a great option. As a, Let's take a couple of steps back. You can see that this guy is um, completely unnoticeable. And really all you notice is the main attraction fish, the fish that are the main focal points. But I once again love the fact that I'm able to come up close to the tank and you know take a closer look and just find these little surprises. But that right there is the stone catfish. Definitely a cool option in an aquarium hobby. Once again they're able to live in very small aquariums because of their small size. Um, and just a very nice feature in the tank. They provide a nice little wow factor to your aquarium.